everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I wanted to go over Amazon here, the chart of Amazon. This is a daily chart we're going to look at here today. And actually the stock closed, this is Friday at the 26th, it closed at 555.23. Then the post market Friday, it just had a small little tiny uh, move down here. Actually, no, that is, I don't know what that is then. That's nothing. Looks like the post market move was at 555.23. What is that? Yeah. So actually, at night, we, we had a little tiny gap up. I have no idea why this number says that. That's not right. So it looks like we had a small push up into the close. After hours on Friday, we closed at 555.11. Let's find that number. So this bar is not really a real bar. I don't know why this is here like this. Here's where we, we are in the day. So this is, no, let's just get rid of that. This is how we ended up closing on Friday. Now, I'm reviewing this chart because I'm actually in an option trade for this, just to get a momentum move run up into this area. Now, on a normal given day, the stock can go $20 in a day. I mean, from these previous days of the last week, the low was 515. It had a rally all the way up to 560. That's just normal trading for the stock, okay? A nice, nice big move up here in two days. So I have a, a position in Amazon calls that expire by the end of this Friday with a strike price of 600. It just was a great, great cost. I cost us 64 cents. And whether it gets there or not, it's going to move up and be worth more than 64 cents this week. So I'm just playing this as a trade. This is just a trade that I'm seeing the market's going to rally this upcoming week and Amazon will rally too up. And that's what I'm seeing. So from where we closed on Friday, I'm really looking only, which is really not that much for the stock, for it to move $45. So I'm looking for it to do that in four days because I really want to be out of this by, by the Thursday. But I'm telling you that it, it, moved, it moved that in, in two days back here, and I've got four. So I have no idea what this opens at on Monday morning, but this is actually a nice entry point. We're probably going to gap up in this or neutral and then rally or gap up on this on Monday. This will gap wherever the market does on Monday. But the stock has fixed itself in here. It had this drop off after the earnings fell. Never was in a downtrend. This didn't make any sense. But anyways, it gapped down on the earnings, rallied on the earnings though, and then fell into itself in here and then pushed back up. And all of this happened because the market. So you could have actually taken this trade back in here out for a little bit. I'm just doing a quick little thing for a week in here. And it's just because I see it just going right into the area. I just see it rallying right into itself. And I like the market to be bullish this upcoming week too, in the first week of March. And the, and the price of this was amazing. To get this again, which is a very volatile stock that can move a lot. The option chain moves, the stock moves. To do anything with the stock, it moves. This can be very profitable. Even if this only goes around here, I can't bring up the live options chain now. It's Saturday night, the market's closed. Even if it only moves a portion of the way, is this going to be worth over three in the next few days? And again, I've only paid 63 cents. So that's a good risk reward trade. And I will be looking for these, continue to look for these, because there's just a lot of money to be made in these. I mean, in an ideal world, this could be worth eight to ten dollars this coming week. That would be amazing for me with the position size I have in this. And it will be a very profitable trade because I only paid 64 cents. And I have 37 contracts, which is a weird number, but I tried to get filled at different prices on Friday and I, and the other day, and I just got filled. I, I just didn't get filled everything. I wanted at different prices, and then I just killed the rest because I didn't want to pay any more. But $0.64 cents is a great price, and anywhere under a dollar is a good price for this. It's a nice uh, move. This is a call. Strike price is 600 Again, anything under a buck is worth it for this to get a rally up and a move with the market in the upcoming week chart looks good chart looks great what do i like about this well i like about this the fact that it had this little bouncy bounce here a couple of days ago 
which was Wednesday. I also like this beautiful bullish gap that happened here back last week too, the 22nd. I don't think it would go anywhere off this thing. This is like a fat lady's button here holding very beautifully on support. And this was just like a little drop off that just picked itself up immediately. And I really like this bullish gap. So I really like this bullish gap. And I also like the gap here that was a gap down that rallied. So, you know, and the market fell on Friday and this fell on the day, but not that much. I mean, if you look at an intraday chart, and I'm going to keep the pre and post market up in this just to show you, but if you look at an intraday chart of what Amazon did when the market fell on Friday, it really, really, it really didn't fall. I mean, this is just like going nowhere. I mean, it's just like neutral. I know it has a red bodied bar in the day, but it's, it, it held extremely strong because I think whatever this did to the downside here has finished in this short move down. And it's waiting to rally. It wants to rally. And we really had a rest day here on Friday, a rest day here on Thursday. I mean, if you look at the last week of trading, there were three rest days. This is a rest day, this is a rest day, this is a rest day. So I'm looking for the stock to have a nice move in the upcoming week with the market. Amazon is a strong chart. It never made any sense why it gapped down in the earnings, but it gapped down and then it rallied and had a huge rally in the day. So. Either way, this stock is not doing anything wrong. It's perfectly fine. It's in a bullish uptrend. It's a long. So I'm in it. This week is an option. Got in it last week. We'll see where it goes. Good luck, everyone that's in it with me. This is a good trade if you can get it under a buck, but you might be able to get it on Monday morning, just putting the order out ahead of the open to see if you can get filled. I don't know where it opens. It really is going to depend if we open neutral or if we end up gapping up. In an ideal world, we could actually gap up. We could actually gap up good good on this like here and then just follow right through on monday but i don't know if it's going to happen it really will depend a lot on the market if the market doesn't gap up on monday this will open neutral and rally in the live day and do a beautiful buy setup into itself have a great night everyone have a great weekend email me at melissa at the stockswish.com if you would like more information on the golden gap class which is next weekend that's how i know how to see these trains or the new options class and subscription to get these calls. Have a great weekend, everyone. Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks.